What up, it's your boy Big John Silva doing a quick on the run review for Cardi B's album for my boy 10 AP at a 2021 vision. Uh, first of all, I mean, if you didn't know already, Cardi B's album came out on Friday. In my opinion, better than I thought, I'm really impressed with it overall. She is getting a little bit of hate, but whatever, let the haters hate. I think she makes good music overall, but I was impressed with the album. I love the, you know, from the beginning, she has a nice little intro, nice little, you know, flow. One of the most important things of a rapper is getting an intro. That I like the intro, I thought it was hard. Yeah, she did do a little Meek Mill type of thing, but she did it her own way. I enjoyed it, I thought she did a good job. But from, you know, start to finish, I love the album. I think there's like one song that I skipped after my second or third playthrough that I was a big fan of. And that was I Like It, which is a Spanish song. No big deal. But overall, I think the album's phenomenal. She did a great job. Uh, production's good. Lyrics is what I expected. So anyone who's out there who's like, oh, um, I expect, you know, or lyrically she wasn't that nice or whatever. Like, it is not like a pun album or like, you know, most deaf like this is not one of those kind of albums this, this you kind of know what you're expecting if you expected something of a higher caliber lyricism that's your own fault for not knowing what you're getting into but for what i expected out the album i loved it uh i see a lot of dudes hating on it or they can't feel it that kind of bothers me a little bit if if she was saying the same if it was a dude spitting the same exact album but speaking from a dude's perspective and obviously changing the words from you know uh from a dude to a chick y'all would love the album y'all would feel the album but so just not understanding this perspective kind of bothers me a little bit but whatever yeah inside it's your own opinion just like i am overall i think the album is hard i think they should a really good job with the album um i'm still bumping it you know all, all weekend i've been bumping the album no skips i'm loving it my wifey's loving it like i see a lot of people getting giving it love on the instagram i seen it's doing really well overall with the streams which is great i do like her getting personal on certain songs she got like uh that song be careful which we all heard i love that song i love her little borrowing sample from old school songs and then she also has Through Your Phone, which I love. That song is fucking phenomenal. Any dude who either was a shitty person in the past or is still a shitty person, that that song is real. You feel that song. And any chick who's had a shitty dude do shit to him, that there's no way you can't identify with that song. Plus, I mean, who don't want to see someone from the hood win? I'm personally from Brooklyn, New York. I mean, I'm like, I lived all my life seeing someone from win from the borough. It's excellent. I'm a big fan of that. You know, overall doing her thing, one of the five boroughs. She's, you know, she's on a real come up. She keeps it real. Like, I, like I, I personally have mad love for her. When she first came on, I hated her. I thought she was annoying. I didn't really give her a chance, though, to be honest. Even with the love of hip-hop, like, I didn't care about her. Then, her, like, her mixtapes, I didn't care. And I was like, whatever. And then I heard, you know, the Boy at Yellow. I thought the song was popping. I, I listened to the song. Get into it. And then I was like, you know what? The album came out. Let me give the album a chance. I thought it was fire. I think you guys should give that album a chance. Try to listen to it. Anyone who has an opinion or comments, please leave your comments or opinions down below. And you guys could have a response. We could have a debate, whatever you want to do. I think you should check it out. Please don't respond if you ain't listened to the album from start to finish. Otherwise, it's just senseless. Thank you. Big John Silva out. This is a Silk exclusive. Welcome to episode 18 of Words Music Dance. I'm your host as always, Paulie the Bull. No relation to Gravano, all right? And as you can tell right now, I am by myself, but I have some guests with me uh, via Skype. So, all right, so I got the guys on the line. Everybody wave, say what's up, fellas. Hello. So let me introduce y'all. We can, we can go uh, first with uh, Jared. You've seen him on a couple of episodes. What up, Jared? What it do? I'm right. a regular. Say your say your social media as you always do. <laughs> uh around the world eighty five. Uh that's Instagram, Facebook. You can kinda of find me. Maybe not, maybe so. I don't know. Right, right, right. And then uh, over here we got homie Lewis, Lou, Louis Law, aka. What's wow. going on, Lou? Yeah. Give out your social media if you want to. Yeah. Twitter, Louis Law underscore Louis underscore law. Instagram Louis Law Thirty One. Right, right, right. And over here we got the homie Ben. Ben, are, are you gonna share your social media with us this time? Uh, Instagram, Insta Benny Twenty Two. All right, all righty. What up, fellas? It's been it's been a while. Haven't yeah, seen you guys in a long time. We, we haven't been invited since episode one. <laughs> <laughs> that was the style, but you, it's all right. you guys have uh, kids and obligations. So it's a little harder for the scheduling. 
You know what I'm saying? But uh, teaser, we have a special episode coming up next week. You know, that uh, you guys will be involved as well. So it's good to, you know, ease your way back into the program. And then, you know, next time the people see y'all, it'll be, a, you know, a big event, you know? Oh, yeah. That's a bad. <laughs> like Drake. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, something like that, something like that. But um, but what's new with you guys? Anything else going on in the world? Have you been watching the show still? You know, are you guys supporting? I'm supporting all the way. That's what's up. the ladies episode kind of cool. The ladies episode. Right, Good right. Yeah. I knew some of the ladies on the show, so shout out to them. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching, trying to keep up with you. Oh, been thank you. Thank you, Phil. Watch episodes cranking out. So it's good. Thank you, thank you. Well, I'm, I'm glad you guys are here. You know, glad to have you back. You know, you guys are here from episode one. Uh, then since episode two, we had Jared here in a couple episodes. So, you know, you, and, and it's good to always have the homies when, we, when I'm doing something new. So this is the first time we're doing this Skype call episode. You know, so this is a little, little special thing we're trying out here. So hopefully, you know, when, when I edit all this, it comes out right. So, um... Slow news week, slow yeah, slow slow news week. So we can we can cover sports because uh, Jared's got his Yankees hoodie on. Um, we're all Yankee fans, so that so that that's a good thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. That, that's after that. That's it. <laughs> I ask Jared what why RG three why. <laughs> we going right to that. Right. <laughs> ben Ben getting his TMZ on. That's right. what that's what he's doing. Why? He's doing because we're performing like clowns. That's why. <laughs> Next question. Because <laughs> Ray Lewis signed to off the on TMZ the questions. <laughs> I mean, but I mean, I, I didn't ask for this shit. No, but Ben Flacco got nothing to worry about. He good. No, Flacco's not worried. Yeah. That's RG3 is going to be our freaking preseason quarterback. Yeah. Is he even guaranteed to make the team? to Flacco, you guys are done. Yeah. He, it's, he, he's it's depressing. <laughs> he, he's gonna bump the uh, the ratings, you know, preseason time. Everybody gonna see, want to see what he's gonna do. But uh, he's gonna get he, a good quarterback cut. He gonna get dropped. RG three don't care. Okay. He got his white girlfriend. He happy. He got his white girlfriend. He happy. He okay. He he got a job. He's gonna become the next uh, tip board Jesus. You know who I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Tebow. <laughs> That's it, man. That man's always getting a job. Look at him. He's in baseball now, right, Mets? How you doing? Yeah, he actually hit a home run, I think, a he couple days ago. Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, 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 he's getting better. Yeah, yeah he's, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thug dizzle. Yeah, he's getting there. If you're hitting a home run here or there and you're batting a buck 80, I don't know if that's getting it done. <laughs> well, that's like Stanton right now. He's so bad in the seats right now, though, so... <laughs> Yeah, that's like Stanton right now. You you can you can hit a couple home runs, but what's your average right now? Yeah, I, all all the Yankees right now. Sanchez, Judd. I mean, well, Sanchez, yeah, week. he can barely buy uh, a hit. He's not even at one. He's what sixty-seven point sixty-seven. Yeah, he, he hasn't even had a hit. Yeah, they're struggling. They're struggling. No, Sanchez had one hit. He had a home run. That's oh, yeah, he had one home run. That's right. He had one home run. That was it. That's probably it. Yeah. <laughs> that was it. It ain't looking good for my Yanks right now. I mean, the Mets, the Mets are looking hot right now. But they, they, it's they only start April. Out, they it's always start out good. Exactly. Yeah, they'll, 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 they'll fall off. It forms up. We'll see how it really plays out. But you mm-hmm. know who's really interesting is the the Angels guy, the, the, the two-way player. Oh, yo, Tani. Yes. Oh, Tani. That, that boy, man. But I, I didn't even believe the hype was batting, but... That's three home runs, right? Three yeah, home runs. And he can pitch. And he can, and he can pitch. He had, I, I saw a I saw a stat on Bleacher Report that said he had more strikeouts. He had more strikeouts than Max Scherzer, and he has more home runs than the Yankees. Yeah, <laughs> so, or, or, or Aaron Judge. Yeah. And then the Aaron Judge. I'm like, damn, this is this is pretty sad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's he's a warm weather pitcher, so he on the West Coast. He. he no, he said it perfectly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Transitioning over from Asia over here, I'm I'm impressed. I'm not gonna. I mean, it's not that big of a difference, though. I mean, they they play fast pitch, you know. And, and again, the the weather helps him out a lot because if you were a warm weather pitcher, he he wouldn't have been doing this in New York. Ain't no way. <laughs> not this first week. Weather. Snow? Nah. But I mean, not this snow. first week. Um, All right, so fellas, let, let me let me ask you a question. Let me let me reel it in a little bit. Let me reel it in a little bit. We started out with football, so let's let's go back to that real quick. 
Why? What, what are you? What are y'all? <laughs> you're off the hook. We already covered your team. Ain't no one talk about that. But let's go to to Lewis's team, the Giants. First off, Odell Beckham. Let's talk about Odell. Not much to say, man. The video says it all, man. That, I mean, he, he, he showed up to the to the to the you know the the meeting today. Um, I don't. I didn't. I didn't. Haven't seen the news or nothing to see what what came of it. But he showed up because they still don't know sure if he's gonna up. be there. You know, that was stay. A, please don't trade me, sir. Please yeah. don't trade me. Please, please don't trade me. Right. So he did do that, but he wants to be the highest paid player in the league. Mm -hmm. well, well, Not gonna happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not a wide receiver coming yeah. off an ankle injury. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he might get his 18 mil. He might be the highest paid wideout. Mm -hmm. But he that 30 plus mil. Yeah, he, he's not getting no quarterback money. That's no, just I mean, my, my. Yeah, so, it, it well, See, that was a smart move on his part because you asked for the most. You go for yeah. the top. Oh, of yeah, the of course. So they're going to fall somewhere in between that. Like, all right, listen, you're not going to get. Yeah, so for, look, it's that part of the game. You ask for as much as you can, and whoever's willing yeah. to take it, you take it. the first 20 mil quarterback. I mean, you know, wide out. Right. right. You know, he might get that and guarantee money. But, uh,. <laughs> Our Giants, man, they scam me right now, yo. Well, they need well, to make the pick with this number two pick. And that's what I was gonna say. So sticking with the Giants, what right. what do we think? Do we think Eli will still be there in another year or two, or what? what, 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 what I mean, where do you think they're going with this pick? Did. Do you think they're gonna pick a quarterback or they're gonna pick a running back with this pick? Nah, see the way I think about it, yeah, I think about the longevity of the game. Mm -hmm. Eli made got about three years max. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. that's bad. That's, that's yeah, generous. Three years <laughs> 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 max. Max, I mean, that's, that's pushing it. But you draft a running back, that running back's going to start now and hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. Running back take a beating. Mm -hmm. You've got that running back, what, five years? Yeah, six at best. Six at best? Right. And that's, that's, that's barring he don't get injured. Right. So I say go quarterback, you know, have him sit on the bench a season or two, learn. Hey, take the reins off after two years when Eli declines fully. Or you got... You know, Eli for what two more years on contract? Mm -hmm. Go for the back now because you might not get this chance again. You know, we have Eli and we go running back. Yeah, we'll probably be at what an eight and eighteen right now. <laughs> if that, if our O line stinks, mm -hmm. I'm, you know, a little better on the left side, but we got we got some pieces to fill. So mm -hmm. I, I say go quarterback, and if the guy we want's not there, trade down. Right. That's what they just. But yeah, as much as I love Saquon Barkley and he gonna be a beast, you know he's gonna fall to Cleveland for Baffin going there. <laughs> oh, I, I'm hey. rumors. Cleveland building that building hype right now, but it's all going on paper right now. They gotta go out there and perform. So mm -hmm. I, I think might actually trade away the number one. I don't see it happening. Hmm. I need a quarterback back. Have the one and four. So I if, if they, they trade one away, they better get a huge haul for it, and hopefully the quarterback they want is still sitting yeah. there. But and that and that's what the, that's the thing. The only team that has all the picks right now for that is the Patriots, and they need a quarterback. So right now, <laughs> nah, I don't see them going number one though. That's not enough to get to number one. Nah, they're gonna need at least at least three ones, and maybe a couple <laughs> twos and threes. The Pats. So. <laughs> They only got two more. They beat all them picks. Gave them a little backup to that guy's team. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy they G. Picks from when they when they get um Rapido and just now who did um Cooks. They, they traded Cooks away. They traded Cooks uh, and got picks from the Rams. I mean, they got the twenty third and like the thirty first. Had mm -hmm. a couple of first rounds, second round, third round, and they could get first round next year. Yeah, I don't see the Patriots. That's not in their move. Um. Mm -hmm. And one, one of the biggest reason why I see that won't happen is Brady's a diva. Brady wanted Jimmy gone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jimmy was the heir apparent. I don't think Brady's gonna sit back and trend and mentor his his replacement. Hey, the Forty Nine is ain't complaining. Yeah, nah, no, they're not. <laughs> he don't lose. <laughs> <He's a business laughs> no Jimmy Garoppolo right? never lost. <laughs> never lost. <laughs> Never lost. Name is Jimmy Ball. Baby. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked if the Pats get that pick just because they need it. You can't rely on a 40 year old quarterback forever. Uh, I mean, Next year the draft is weak on quarterbacks. Yeah, but that dude put up. He, he was MVP. <laughs> if you if you pick a quarterback that high, you tell him that what we go up to the This year, so. He's older. He's gonna. It's gonna catch up eventually. It catches up to everybody. I, I see the Patriots moving up, not that high, but 
maybe mid first, and don't it, sleep on Mason Rudolph. Let's say they don't, they don't, they don't get the first. Even if they get the fourth pick off Cleveland, they still have a shot of a QB right there. But I don't, I don't think there's a quarterback they love that much to go that high. I see them trading those two first and maybe going to the mid, say 15, 18 range, and no, get I, Mason Rudolph. I've heard them getting tied to um, what's this guy, um, Baker Mayfield. They think he's kind of interested in him. So that guy yeah. probably like on the four pick. Yeah. I don't think he has the height they look. They 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 run there. I mean, he's six foot ish. You know, six foot ish. But his accuracy is okay. They just need an accurate quarterback. They don't need somebody crazy. He has. He's not. He's not definitely like all bust. You know what I mean? He's not like Johnny Mansell. Well, since we're on the topic of quarterbacks, let's talk about your Indianapolis Colts. Uh oh. <laughs> My Indianapolis Colts have a long way to go. Now you. your quarterback <laughs> has been the guy who's been, who was the heir apparent. To when you know Manning left, well, since then he's underachieved due to injuries and you know other things and the the line injury. protecting him. So, where, where you guys yeah. stand right now? Well, he's come. He he is back in the OTAs that just started today. Mm -hmm. He's back field. He's still not throwing a football, a full size football. He's throwing many footballs. Mm. <laughs> He's playing Killing that ball. junior Pee Wee League. He's playing shot put. <laughs> he playing like, shot put. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't understand why, but they're, they're taking their time, which is fine. I don't care. As long as he's healthy, mm -hmm. they're saying he's good to go right now. He's making the steps. Mm -hmm. so right now, we got the six pick. Mm -hmm. and every, a lot depends on what the stinking Giants do. Oh. Yeah, your Giants. Holding up Angela, <laughs> Angela got a hand like that dude from Scary Movie too with the messed up hand. <laughs> Take my hand! Take my hand! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, we need a, uh, we we need we switching D, so we need different defensive. We need linebackers. We got none. We need line cause I need everything. So y'all need a lot. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a lot. That's that's what it seems. Even drop further down because we went from three to six. I know they don't want to get out of the top ten, but I think if they can stay within the top fifteen, they'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Get more because otherwise, it's gonna be a long time. We can, like I would love like Saquon. It looks nice on paper, but if you can't protect, I, oh. I ain't got no offensive line though. Yep, exactly. That's what I'm saying. You can't we can go there and pay offensive line for, for the call. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> it would be yeah, just as good. Not... <laughs> <laughs> just as good or just as bad, depending on how you look yeah. at it. Not, not people just, get not, through not drugs. People. I... Man. I, we have a Chester Rogers somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we got Ebron from uh, Detroit, tight end. Mm -hmm. but, uh, uh, to, nobody there. Nobody. Well, who him. got um? Who got Jordy Nelson right now? Because I know the Packers let him go. Jordy Oakland. Oh yeah. Oakland. Damn, they they stack up. Mm-hmm. Stack up pilots. I mean, they they replaced Crabtree with Nelson. Upgrade. Yeah. Where Crabtree go? Crabtree. Did he go? No. Yeah, I think he went to Baltimore. Yeah, he's gonna be catching passes from RG three. I thought it was sorry. I don't know. Oh, Lord. <laughs> he gonna be catching passes from RG three. Because I know we got rid of I know we got rid of Macklin. Mm. Yeah, Macklin. Go. He went to Kansas City. He went back. Yeah. I think he signed actually. Oh, okay. Mm. He signed. So needless yeah. to say, our teams don't look too good this year in in, uh, in football. No. Crabtree went to Baltimore. Okay. King Crab uh, and RG three together. Oh boy. <laughs> but, but they, you, I don't even think Ravens have a tight end no more because they let Watson go. I think he went to New Orleans. And that mm. was your best tight end, right? Yeah. 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 And and, and we're, we're the kind of team that we like to rely heavy on that tight end. So that's I guess we'll have to draft somebody. I don't even know. I. I really fell in football almost all the last year. I kind of crept in like week 16, so I got a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> At the end. Oh, it's over? <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking I of I missed my end, home little I mean, train wreck. Right now, we're at the end of the NBA season, so... Um, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about our team specifically. 
But um, what do we think about? The, yeah, what, but what do we think about the Eastern Conference with Philadelphia 76ers getting 50 wins, being right now first Just place process. in the East? What do we think about that? I tell you, the dude they fired though, over there in Philly, Sam Hinkie, when he was like tanking for a purpose, mm-hmm. man. It, it's pain. It's Trust pain the process. Now. He not there. Trust the process. <laughs> He's not there to enjoy it. Right. And they're getting there. They're getting there. They, they have a nice young team. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Nice they about team. one piece away. One, one good but, piece away. I, I wouldn't even say one piece. I would say if they can somehow get Ben Simmons to shoot with his right hand and wow. make the shot better. Yeah. yeah. Be ben good. Simmons is like three seasons away from having a decent shot. They need, they need a closer. They, they need somebody they can count them. on in the clutch. Fourth quarter, because right now Embiid is on the, he's still on his minutes restriction. Simmons right. is more of a distributor, you know, so right. they're still trying to figure out who's the man of the team. So they got to figure out, they got pieces. Well, Embiid, they who's the man? Well, Embiid, Embiid got that, he has that right eye injury, so he's going to be out at least the first game right. of the playoffs. Injuries always right. his thing. That like he he he's a, a big man. He got the big man curves, feet, legs. Like he's always gonna be in and out. So Simmons or somebody, JJ Redick, somebody gotta be the man in the clutch. They gotta have somebody oh, yeah. to take the ball. We clear out, or we can count on you to get the shot. And that's what they're missing right now. That's that's really, you know. I mean, there's only there's only that's about two teams in the East that are, are young. None of Milwaukee. Yeah. Milwaukee, Milwaukee been underachieving because yeah. they had a a, a a young team, a long, stretchy, lanky team that hustled with Jason yeah. Kidd, and they never put it together. I mean, now they got you know the Greek freak is shined as the man, but even he's up and down. So he got to consistently yeah. be the man for for that team. Those are two teams that are only getting better. I mean, yeah. every team, other team is getting older. So mm-hmm. Philly I'm definitely gonna be on the rise. Uh, I feel bad that they're in the same division as my Knicks. Um, <laughs> yeah. We're about five, six years away from that process. And, and, and I'll, put it like, I'll put it like this. Does anybody, I'm going to ask this question. Does anybody really take Toronto seriously as a number one seed? No. This year I Thank do. You. This year I do because the East I sucks. Don't. The East, East sucks. sucks. Yeah, but. We, we I, so I don't take them seriously as a, as a one seed. You know, we see Toronto's playoff track. They get smacked in the playoffs. By who? Thank you. By the Cavs. Yeah. They could beat the Cavs this year. I think they could beat the Cavs this year. I don't think so. I think they could beat the Cavs this year. Beat Cavs. This is set up. These Cavs don't look good this year. Playoff LeBron is different from regular season LeBron. No, he's the same. (laughs) He Uh, loses. More more times than not, he loses in the playoffs. (laughs) 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 So, he's still the same guy. He goes all out. He loses more hair because he's putting it in. Yeah. Yeah, These last two games he played against Toronto, they they couldn't put anybody on him. I don't know. Nobody there to stop him. I, I think this might be the year because remember they said the same thing about you know the Bulls couldn't beat the Pistons, <laughs> and we know what happened at the end of that run. The Pistons ended up walking off the, t- off the <laughs> field, off the court, <laughs> with their head yeah, down. Happens. So <laughs> eventually, teams get over the hump, and this <laughs> might this is the best chance. If they can't do it this I mean, year, it ain't happening. But this is the best the chance they got. Test, the first test is going to be who Toronto plays that first round. Well, yeah. it's going to be the eighth seed. Who got eight right now? Milwaukee. Mm. I, they, they, I don't. I, yeah, they could beat Milwaukee. Milwaukee's too. They're gonna let Greek Freak score 30, 40, and that's all they're gonna have. They're gonna end up with eighty points. They're gonna yeah, have so, half of yeah. it. They're gonna yeah, have the other thirty points. The second round when they play Cleveland, you can't it, it depends on where they fall. 30, because if Cleveland falls to four, they'll play them. But if Cleveland gets back up to three, then they they duck them into the finals. So it all depends on Philly and Cleveland's positioning. Well, I I think Cleveland would rather the four seed right now. Uh, you, you pay <laughs> Toronto rather than you pay Boston. No, no, Boston without Kyrie, without like nah, Boston's easy. They sweep in Boston. Not, not the team they were. They sweep in Boston. That's what I'm saying. Like I still say Kyrie. I still say Kyrie being hurt all of a sudden. Scream set up. Like it, it reminded me. It reminded me almost of. Um, remember when the outsiders just joined WCW and everybody was like, "Who's the third man?" 
And then out came Hogan, like, oh, yeah, it's Hogan. And then he was the third man. Yo, that whole Kyrie going to Boston, everything everything looking good. I mean, I guess Hayward were getting hurt in the beginning. That was, like, real easy of a, of a you know, of a I can wait until later. Because Kyrie had this whole leg injury the whole season, and now he waits to say, oh, you know, I can't do it anymore. Well, here's my take on so, it. So, it just screams. My, my just take screams is, it, it made no sense for him to play. They not winning with him kind of injured. Mm-hmm. So, it just made sense to just go forward. Because they, they saw their placement in, in the standings. They, they would have been second place, third place. But they like, we're not going to get far with just him. And he's coming in and out. I think somebody else was hurt too. So, they got a few injuries. So that's why I feel like. Marcus smart. Smart, right. Smart, right. Smart got hurt. So, it just was in their best interest to get his surgery as soon as possible so he can be ready for training camp next year. Gordon Hay would be ready for training camp next year. Just had them both come in 100% instead of trying to get far and wasting time in, in the playoffs where they know they're not going to get far. So that's just what yeah, I, I don't think. You just wasted that too they, they got to that point where they just said, Try, yeah. just, just throw it in the bag, just can it. It's not happening. So that's how I feel. Early. Uh, you can't take too early in the season. Right. Because they still yeah, had they a chance. chance. <laughs> they still had a chance. <laughs> they, still <laughs> <laughs> they still thought they had a chance. It wasn't until they got to that point. His injury I mean, was still lingering. What it, does, though, it, was, it was once Cleveland reached group and changed the whole team. Mm-hmm. Was, yeah, we still don't have a chance here. So, you know what? Let's just start shutting it down. Yeah, and I mean, that makes sense. That's the age for, for Boston's young guys to show what they can do. Mm-hmm. And then Boston used them as trade bait. In the off season, I know they they try to go out to Greek Creek, you know, eight Anthony Davis. Right. Depending on how those teams doing the playoffs, yeah. he's got a whole bunch of young people that can be like, hey, who you want? Yeah. Oh, you mean the young talent? You mean the young talent that they got from Brooklyn? Oh, okay. Yeah, basically. <laughs> and that's the thing. Okay. Too. Without a superstar, they'll see no, who's no. going to step up. You know, they'll see who's left, who's going to step up for them. Right. So they be like, all right, we're I mean, keeping you, we're getting rid of you. We're keeping you, we're getting rid of you. Yeah. So it I mean, makes sense. last season we saw some crazy trades go down. Oh, you know? mm-hmm. George can't move. Right. <laughs> but everybody went to the West. So, so let's so let's talk about the Western Conference now. Uh, yeah. Houston is number one. Do we take them serious? I definitely take them seriously. Yeah. Ben Ben does. Why why do we take them serious, Ben? I I want to take you serious until I see you win. Because every time playoffs comes, Harden falls apart. And Tony hasn't done it yet. And um. I mean, CP3, he's been all right in the playoffs, but, you know, he can't do it by himself anymore, so. Well, I mean, and this is the perfect reason why they teamed up. I mm-hmm. mean, Harden couldn't, Harden, you saw yeah. that, that game seven, Harden had no legs. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he, he had no hands done. either. He couldn't, he had what, 12, 13 turnovers or something like that? Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he, he put extra pressure on himself trying to, like, be the man on that. Right. And he just, so, he, he got somebody to defer to now, and Chris Paul actually got somebody who can score, mm-hmm. you know, away from the ball. Right. You know, Blake Griffin was a spot up dunker, mm-hmm. Ali Hooper, Rob City kind of guy. Right. It was all on CP3. He had to yeah. facilitate. So, right. Yeah. For me, it's just I have to wait and see. I have to see. Yeah, they, they got shooters. They they yeah, yeah, they, they, like, they have a good team. They yeah. have a good team. They just got to see a playoff time because you know playoff different game. Different Defenses. They put up all three things for the state this year, which I thought was pretty goddamn tough to do. Well, because Steph was there yeah. for most of the year. <laughs> if, if Steph was there, I don't know. Steph missed a lot of games. Yeah, Go- Golden State's issues is a little bit harder this year. I mean, the injuries. The injuries. That's. Kind I don't of- know. I think, I mean, to me, I guess I'm skeptical about these things. So call me a cynic. I always think these injuries are always well-timed. <laughs> So Steph, Steph Clay, Steph Clay, and Durant being out in March, it gives them a little bit of a rest. I kind of agree with you on that because I I feel like Golden State plays bored like ninety percent of the time. Yeah, and so I can see that. I can totally see that. But the Steph, I think when he has a MCL sprain, right? Yeah, I forgot what his injury is because he he ha- he got hurt. He came back, then he got hurt again. I think I think it's a grade two, and I think last year, oh, not last year, but the year he he was in the playoffs and. He, he was hurt. I think that was a grave one. So this one's actually more. Mm-hmm. So I don't think they come back unless they get deeper in the playoffs. Right. I don't it's, know. It's, uh, the West is stacked. I mean, you got Utah. Utah's about a four seed. Yeah. 
And you saw we fought nothing off because, you know, they got rid of Hayward. We're like, oh, they're gonna be rebuilding. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. And they got rid of and they got rid of um what's that dude um Ryan Hood? He got they got rid of him to Cleveland. So we're thinking, you know, they you know it's just gonna be a re rebuild though. Nope. I mean Donovan Mitchell just took took off. Um, yeah. Shout out to my niggas to let him pass up on him again. Like, <laughs> but the West is stacked. I mean, you got OK. Nobody's even talking about OKC. Nah. Um, <laughs> and that's why. <laughs> and that's why. Like, you, know what, you know where it's look as great as Westbrook is, he just I don't know. He doesn't help your team win. He'll help himself get stats. But that's about it. I I just don't buy him. Poor George, you know he did. No. Mello is not hoodie Mello. That's not the hoodie Mello. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> he, he, old. he couldn't do that for too long. Lala must have got his name in the divorce settlement or something. Like. <laughs> Mello is old now. Them, them legs don't do what they used to do, man. They don't work the same way. There's a lot of pressure <laughs> on the legs. Everybody was crazy. Thought the Knicks got nothing for him. Yeah. I don't know. The way he played this year? Like, well, remember the beginning of the season, what was he ranked, like 30 or 40, something like that, of all, all yeah. the players? And everybody made a big deal mad. about that. They were like, no, he's higher than that. I want to know what he's ranked at now at the end of the season because he probably <laughs> lower than 30. I should Google that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what his ranking is. They made a big deal about it. it's disrespectful. He's much <laughs> higher than that. You mean to tell me so and so is better than him? And it's like now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes, wait, no, we know name. Right, right. People get hyped. That's Carmelo Anthony. He won in Syracuse. No. He won scoring titles. It's like yeah. That the was reason why, why? The reason why is because it was always ranked better. Than Melo. And right. it was all like, yeah. this guy? Right. Lonzo? Get the fuck out of here. Right. That was a problem. Well, I think he might it wasn't still like it was dirty. Lonzo. <laughs> he might yeah. still have Lonzo beat because Lonzo was a little oh, shaky. Sorry. He had a couple no, no, triple doubles, but he hasn't had none since. Uh, Melo's missed a couple game winners, a yeah. couple game winning free throws. Like, yeah. Lonzo was not, he's not, he's, ready to go, man. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, he, he, he's smart. He opted into that contract. He ain't opting out of that shit. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think right now, the way it's set up, I think uh, Golden State will play OKC, right? Uh, right um, I don't even know. Um, yeah. Right now, yeah. Right now, yeah. Right now, yeah. I'm looking at it. Right like now, a game the, apart, so it still can change. Yeah, right now, the one seed is Houston. Two is Golden State. Portland is number three. Um, Utah is four. Portland's gonna be asleep, I think. Um, New, um, New Orleans is five. Uh, San Antonio six, Oklahoma seven, and currently Minnesota. Wow, I think Minnesota gets in though. I think so too. Yeah, well, I think Denver gets in actually. Yeah. I think Denver gets. Jimmy Butler just came team. back, so Minnesota back. might make a run. Okay. I mean, yeah, I think they want to get in. Denver's playing Portland tonight. Mm. Timberwolves and Grizzlies are 40-37 right now. So. Well, the playoffs has begun. Yeah, <laughs> the playoffs have begun. All right, so I'm, 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 I'm going to ask everybody one by one, give me your pick for the West, give me your pick for the East. So let's go, Ben, you go first. I'm going to be the usuals. Golden State, and it's going to be uh, the Cavs. So four years in a row? Yeah. All right, all right. Lou, who you got? Who's coming out the West? Who's coming out the East? I'm taking Houston and Cleveland. Okay, okay. Jared, who you got? The Lakers. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never lost. <laughs> they lost the Never line. lost. Lost a lot. <laughs> who you got? East and West. Let's go. <laughs> um, and... All right, well, the East is going to be Cleveland. I would love to say Philadelphia, but it's going to be Cleveland. Mm. Um, West, damn, that's, that's a, damn. Between Houston and Golden State, uh, Golden State, mm. it's going to be Golden State, Cleveland, I think. Only because um, Golden State's players rested pretty good in March. So, so they got a little juice. You going with, you going with, you holding by your conspiracy. I'm going to go with a conspiracy theory. I heard, learned on the pop, and pop does that too. You know, he knows how to sit them down just in the right time. Well, that, 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 that does make sense. Kawhi had his body, he had his body, uh, uh, um, a moment. 
<laughs> it, was, it was Ricky Bobby moment. I can't play. I can't feel my leg. <laughs> All right, well, we, we covered football, we covered baseball a little bit, we covered basketball. Let's talk about, uh, I guess, uh, boxing and MMA a little bit. Uh, not much going on much in boxing, but in MMA, uh, someone who made their boxing uh, 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 entrance last year, Conor McGregor, has been in the news with uh, this year, but not in a winning fashion. So, Jared, you wanted to vent about that, so I'll let you go, go, go ahead. UFC was, and I'm not a UFC person, I'm not an MMA person, but, you know, there was a UFC event over the weekend in Brooklyn, and uh, Conor wanted to spoil the party because Dana White said he was going to strip, he was going to strip uh, Conor of his belts because of inactivity, which then Conor crashed the party, literally, because he... Uh, he threw a hand truck, like it's all over TMZ. He threw a hand truck at a bus, shattered the window, fight broke out, brawl went on. Uh, Connor, Connor had a tweet um, in response to, to hearing he was going to be stripped. I don't know if I can say it in, in Connor's lucky charm voice, but uh, you stripped me of nothing. You do nothing, cops. So. <laughs> Like, he really said, you strip me of nothing, you do nothing, cunts. This is, this is his words. Okay. Um, but, um, yeah, he, 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 got, he was really mad about that, so he crashed up um, Broccoli Center. Um, and this is like, this is not even the Saturday of the event. This is like a Thursday or Friday. So he started a fight. Three of the card, like three people from, from like the main event card, had to be pulled. Like three cars got canceled because of this guy. <laughs> and everybody wants to talk about money, you know, Mayweather's this, Mayweather. Mayweather never once cost anybody money. This man just cost three people money in a fight. Well, Dana, he um, cost Dana White himself some money. The whole, the whole, uh, you know, the he cost. Was affected it cost a lot of people money. Ben, what's your and, thoughts on that? What you, what you got on that, Ben? What you, what you, what you thinking? I'm thinking that's just what Conor McGregor does. That's he likes that attention, and I know Dana's playing along. He, you know, I'm sure he wasn't happy with how far it went, but I'm sure he knew he was going to show up and he was going to cause some ruckus because that attracts attention. That's what they want. Uh, Conor, I, I thought Conor was going to get stripped. Not, I didn't know it was inactivity. I just thought they were in the UFC. I thought they couldn't hold multiple belts at one time. That's what I thought. Am I wrong on that or not? For what Dana Dana said, because he went to boxing and because he hasn't fought in, in a while, they, they were moving on. He said he was gonna let the then fight for the belt this this card and then Connor was gonna have first pick to fight. He was gonna be number one contender automatically. So he was gonna take his belt and let somebody else, you know, get it, but that was gonna lead up to him returning the end of the year to get his belt right, right back. So I, I, but I, I... I understand that they, didn't, they weren't allowed to have multiple weight class belts. So I don't think anybody has that. Yeah, no, it wasn't that. It was just because he because he wasn't there. Dana said it. He was on um, ESPN the other day, and he said it was because he you know because he, he wasn't there. He wasn't active. All right. And they were gonna but, and they said he was gonna they was gonna let him go to whatever class he wanted to go to to fight for his belt. He had his pick. Nonsense was because all of a sudden Mayweather's talking about I'm gonna go into MMA if I get out of retirement, right? So that can set up the next fight for them too. Now at this time it will be in Connor's place. You know what I'm saying? It's just a hype. I think it's just a hype machine, and it just it went further than Dana hoped they would go, and they just got carried away. So are you saying you you think you think uh, Floyd is gonna fight in the MMA? I think so. Yeah. Oh, money, money talks, man. Okay. He has a, a big spending habit. <laughs> Lou, what you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm just shocked that all these physical athletes don't know how to, like, got no lateral movement to duck to the left or to the right. <laughs> God damn, hand truck is up to the window. <laughs> I mean... It but, just happens to be a hand truck there. <laughs> that's empty. That's empty. And there happens to be so many cameras around. I don't know. They just. I think that I'm, I'm full of jab. Maybe that was staged, but two forgot to duck. Like, didn't get that part of the script. <laughs> wow. So this, this is the conspiracy theory episode right here. 
<laughs> like I said, I think all of that is just planted media. Just like like I told you guys earlier, I think we were off camera, that somebody on Instagram recorded Connor in the stands. Come on. You're going to tell me that Conor McGregor somehow snuck into the Barclays? Like, nobody in security yeah. know who he was? Well, like, no, he didn't sneak in. Like, Diana, Diana he, said he was allowed. He had, he had full access. He had right. access. Right, so that thing of him being banned out of the arena because of what happened, yeah, that's BS. Yeah, no, they, Dana never said he was banned. He said he, he had full okay, access to get in there. Dana White, Dana White himself well, he, said he was not banned. <laughs> I think it was an incident that happened. Not, not like he Are you talking about after? Back. Right. Oh, oh, right oh. After. Well, that I don't know. I don't know what happened after. I know I know. prior they said he was banned. He was, he was banned. He wasn't supposed to be there on fight night, but he was. Mm. But that's like he, somebody that's not supposed to be in the building somehow is in the building. If it was a regular person, I get it. They snuck in, but... Do we, I mean, but yeah. even still, I, I think even after the fact, he's still not banned. No, no, he's not banned from fighting. No, right, he was just saying, from, 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 from entering the building, he's not banned? No, no, he was banned from the event. He was banned from the event. Who said that? They didn't happen. Mm. I know he was arrested. I don't think they put a ban on him, though. Once he once he um, bailed himself out, he still... Yeah, if, if he wasn't banned, he wouldn't have snuck in. Snuck in. He would have been... <laughs> he snuck. I don't think he snuck in. I think he went right in. I think he, he still had full access. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think he's banned. Awesome in the building because money talks. Right. Do we have photo I evidence mean, of him being there? Did anybody take a picture of him being there? I mean, there? well, you know, he, um, what happened? Was, was there, is there any photos of him being there? Because if he oh, was in the yeah, stand, um, somebody had to have some oh, photos. Was, photos of him being at the fight? Yeah. That Saturday? Event, yeah. Well, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if it was Instagram or Snapchat or the video and they posted it on Instagram. I saw it. I saw it in the morning. Mm. Yeah. I mean, that should. I would. I would feel that would be seen more in abundance if, if that's the case. If he was banned and it was, and he was there, that picture should have been floating around more, more frequent. Yeah. It would have yeah. Been. That definitely would have been. That's news. That would have made the news. Like somebody would have said he was banned. He's there. What's going on? Conor McGregor's team is not allowed at UFC 223. Mm. Him, nah. whole team, and that's why he snuck in into the building. He was in the stands instead of down there at ringside. Right. Well, uh, but, but still, even in the stands, that's a bunch of civilians. That should be a, it. Should be a lot more pictures. Yeah. Right, but that's what I'm saying. Like, like that's just planted. Mm. Interesting. Except, uh, the fight. Well, I mean, the guy. I mean, the guy was left out on a fifty thousand um, dollar bail, and he got a court date June fourteenth. Mm -hmm. He faces he faces a couple felony charges. I mean, it yeah. could. It could serve up to 11 years. We don't know. It could be. It's a celebrity. Mm -hmm. You know? It's going to be dropped. But then again. Misdemeanor charge, and he's good to go. I mean, but then again, we said about Fabulous, too. We still wait on that verdict, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. Uh, I see part of the video. I think, uh, I think that one's another level there. He can go better. No, no, not not done this. We move, you know, we us two movement, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no pocket. No. But you know, but um, with, with, with Connor, with Connor, uh, I don't. I mean, yeah, it, it's 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 his personality. Like you know, like he's had this whole thuggish, you know, you know, uh, um, uh, look about him, or you know, like he tries to come off a certain way. So you know. For, for for Dana to say I'm gonna strip you of the belt and then Connor to respond, you really know he was gonna show his ass. And that's what he did. He just came out, showed up, whatever, did what he wanted to do. Um, of course, Dana and them gotta pay property damage and all the other stuff, but you know, Connor did what he was I guess what he was set to do. <laughs> Alright fellas, let's 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 uh let's wrap this up. Uh Lou, any any, any last thoughts? Yeah. Easy to step it up and um and they playoffs. It's probably the best time of the year. Yeah, true, true. Ben, what's on yeah. your mind? Final thoughts? Final thoughts. Like you said, best time of the year. Playoffs starts. NHL playoffs. Right now, everything starts to kick off. See, he froze. What sport is that? <laughs> he froze up too. <laughs> Hockey. Hockey. Jared, final thoughts? 
Fuck Connor. How about that? <laughs> okay, that, that one got through. That one got that through. Fuck Connor. And my man, and why Mayweather's bodyguard got to get shot, man? Well, he, he's whole, he's, he, he left. He, um, they let him out the hospital today. I got the ESPN uh, alert, so he's so he's uh heading home. So apparently he's doing, he's doing all right. So it was a good thing. Um, he's trying to bring in Tupac, man. <laughs> basically, all right, fellas. Thank you Let's very much, go fellas. Yankees. All right, later, fellas. Later. Deuces. Always. The uh, 2021 vision across all social media. Check it out. Keep the conversation going. Comment below. If you like what you're watching, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the show, hit the like button. Share it. Tell your friends about it. Let them know what's going on. Also, hit subscribe and the bell to be notified when new content is loaded because there's much, much more to come.